So this will be part four, yeah, part four of our Spring Boot Time Leaf Cross Repository, uh, Cross UI application, where we actually insert data, delete data using uh, the, uh, the using HTML form and table. I'll design this form as well using uh, Bootstrap and jQuery. So let's continue building the nationality service. So this is a business service, as I mentioned, and you already know what it is by now. If you don't, please look at the previous lesson. So scroll up this page and you'll see the explanation right there. Also remember to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when I make new lessons. If you have any challenges following these lessons, let me know and I'm going to respond to you. So let's now build the next one. Uh, one thing we can do is to... So let's build the next one. Uh, that is this one we did get nationalities. The next one is get nationality by ID. So public, uh, public list, public nationality because we are getting a single nationality this time. Nationality, nationality, get nationality by ID, and it takes an integer ID. Okay, and it says what is this? Uh, we are going to now return. We're going to return a nationality repository dot find by id dot find by id. So you can see find by id right there, and it takes id. Okay. All right. So. That is how it is, it's as easy as that. So just correct this by using this optional so that it handles null values. Uh, the next one, uh, we are now going to get add nationality. So public, uh, maybe void, add nationality. And it's going to actually take a nationality, a nationality object. So, so you can see it's actually easy to follow, uh, and simply the repository is going to say nationality. Maybe I'll just put it in the clipboard. Repository dot save. So, uh, the save method actually saves the nationality. Is that add, uh, handles the add operation? Nationality. Okay, so now we've written three methods. Uh, we now have update. Now, permit me to now write the delete and that I'm going to do by the updates. I'm going to use this control V. Um, now I'm going to change this method to delete and it takes nationality. It could also take ID. So let's allow it to take ID, integer ID. So, so this, hmm, are we saying, I think we are talking about update, so update, okay, so I think I should have left it the way it is, so let me just copy this, copy, so just give it a nationality object and it saves it, so save, save is the same with, uh, when you want to add and also update, they both take save. Um, the next one is delete, so public void uh, delete uh, delete nationality. So it's going to use the ID. We're going to give it the ID of the nationality to delete, and we are going to just say nationality service repository dot delete. I think there should be delete by id id all right so that is it so we've completed building our service let me just cross check if there is any error uh so far so good so i think at this point we could you can see this is this is it so when we are updating we are updating nationality when we are uh deleting we are deleting by id when we want to add, we are adding the nationality itself. 
build the controller. So let's quickly build the controller and then we know that we've completed almost everything and then we can start destiny. So permit me to create a new controller file. Mm, let's see. Okay, yeah, I'm going to create a new controller file. So new is going to be called nationality controller. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be in the package dot controllers. Uh, hope everything is fine. Perfect. Okay. So this controller file has to be annotated with that controller annotation. So add controller. Uh, okay. So I'm going to uh, control shift O. Okay. Um. So not rest controller. So just controller. Then write the controller method same as the uh, methods in the service. So at this point, I'm just the first thing to do is to auto wire the service into the controller. So I'm going to say auto wire. So I'm going to say private uh, nationality service. So at this point, instead of wasting all this time, I'm actually going to copy uh, this one by one so that I could explain it to some extent. So let me copy the, the first one is get nationalities. So in this case, um, we are making a call to nationalities. So if this is slash nationalities, we'll be able to get the list of nationalities. And we are saying, I actually should take out this, this. Uh, I actually should remove this. Yeah, I'm going to take out this. So what I'm going to do now as well is to uh, return nationalities, okay. Uh, public string. So, okay, let, let's just continue. So let's use another one. This one is get one single nationality. I'm going to just copy it and paste it right there. So if we make a call to slash, uh, to the optional. Okay, so if we make a call to slash one nationality, it, it will return a single nationality. Okay, so um, let's see. And we're also going to give a parameter of the ID. So now this model that attribute everywhere, I actually would also remove it as well. So, so let me close this and this one slash one nationality uh, will return a single nationality okay so response body mm -hmm. no problem let's leave this response body here but I'll show you who, who, what it actually means so I'm going to simply copy all other ones copy this so one nationality returns a single one. All right, so the next one, this, which is slash save, we are making a call to slash save. And the method is post, it could be put, it could also be get, because if you are saving, if you are saving a nationality, I think you'll need to do either post or put. Let's just, so it means that we can actually remove these gets here. So, but for uniformity, I just left all of them, but it could actually be uh, post or post. So when you are doing the save method, because the save method in the repository handles both post, uh, both post and post. Save method actually, actually uh, updates or even adds a new item. So let me make some room here. Um, so the next thing I'm going to explain to you, update. Okay, now redirect. So when you save a new nationality, remember when we added a new item to the, when we started a new item, it's going to redirect to the list of nationalities. So when you add, you want it to refresh the page and display the list of nationalities. 
All right, so uh, that is what happens when you update. Also, when you add, it's also going to redirect to list of nationalities as well. So that's why you have the redirect to slash national nationalities. And when you also delete, you're also going to redirect to list of nationalities. So let's say delete by ID. Mm. So so let's see the, the name of the delete method is delete nationality, not delete by ID. So I'm going to just copy and just I'm, I'm going to replace it here. All right, so you can see that we have all the methods completed. So, um, all right, I think we are good to go, but there is okay, so. Hopefully, I'll allow you to go through this and try to understand it. The next thing we are going to do is to create, this is step 8 now, create, add the HTML file in the templates folder and name it nationalities.html. So, we are going to now add the HTML uh, that will display a list of nationalities. We are going to add it to the templates folder. So, I'm going to go to templates and I'm going to say new and I'm going to say order. Now this is the page that's going to display list of nationalities and I'm going to call it uh, nationalities.html finish. So I'm just going to give a little caption here. Okay, so this is a page that's going to display a list of nationalities. So in the body, we are going to display a list of nationalities. All right, so basically we've set up a few things. So now this application actually uh, might not run because we need to make some updates in the application properties file to set the name of the database. Uh, so that we are going to do in the next lesson, we are going to set up the data, uh, set up the properties of the database in the application properties file. I think I could just do it right now, but the challenge is I can't. Let's go, okay, let's go to the application, the properties file first. Um, application properties file. All right. So now the the settings for the properties, uh, I could get it from my website so if you go to my website and go to uh this get here repository it should be actually a to memory database and we have the settings for the okay so we have all of these yeah so so this time i'm trying to enable uh hate two i also show you how to enable um how to enable uh, um, MySQL as well. So let me copy this. I'm going to also put this link in the description box so that you can actually get all this. So just go ahead to paste it here. Um, so now there is something you need to do. So put spring in the start of each line. Spring, spring dots. So So it's just, I think it should be lowercase. Okay, so spring dot for everyone. Spring dot. Spring dot. Okay. So I'm going to save. Oh, the last one has have two two the words and the two the two of some words. Now we give the database a name. Let's call it DB nationalities. Okay, so now this is what we need to do to set up the database. The H2 database, in-memory database I mentioned, we are going to be using it for testing. So now, at this point, we can actually test this code, test this code to see if the database is working. If the database is working and the database is okay, is able to display the database and create a, 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 uh, the database for us, then we know that we've completed this part. So I'm going to now run it and when i run it i'm going to visit this localhost 8080 h2 console to see if the database if the database is free so let's see um starting up 
Hopefully it will be functioning and there is no errors in the way. So, so, so. All right, so you can see Tomcat have started on port 8080. So let's go to try our lock. So I'm going to go to HTTP slash slash localhost port 8080. Port 8080 slash home. Of course, this is the home page we created. So it is okay. That is not the problem. The next one is we want to go to H2 console. So let's see. Ah, good. So now we have H2 console, but you need to actually re rename this name of database with the name of the database that we created. We will put in the application properties file. So we call it nationalities. DB. So let me just make sure that I have the name correctly. Oh, DB nationalities, that is the name. So just copy it and put it right there. Sorry. So don't worry about the username and password, everything is okay. Test connection, everything is okay. Connect. So you can see nationality was created. So we have this table called nationalities. If you drop down, you can see that it contained the the, this, the, the, the properties of the, the model we created. Remember we created the model nationality having uh, uh, ID capital name or updated by and updated on. So in case you've forgotten, I'm going to just show you that that is what we have here, as you can see right here, okay? So I'm going to stop here. We actually have completed almost everything about the back end. The next thing we are going to now do is on the front end to see uh, what is going to happen uh, to actually transfer this data to the front end in this HTML page that we created. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also if you have challenges, leave me a comment to let me know and I'll, 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 be, I'll be very glad to help you solve any challenge you have.